In 1975, toward the end of the space race between the United States of America and the USSR, an astrophysicist working at the Peterson Institute named Ingrid Hansen made what she believed to be the greatest discovery of the 20th century and possibly of humankind. It was built into the smallest pieces of matter floating through space. But this discovery was quickly buried by the Peterson Institute's managing director, Gustav Peterson. In spite of its gloried history as one of the world's leading scientific bodies, the Institute kept the knowledge of this find secret for over four decades. Until now. Kathleen, Kathleen. <clears throat> okay, this is the first journal marking the beginning of the cloud chamber experiment. My father has finally agreed to let us work inside the Institute to explore the phenomenon we've discovered. Also, I've persuaded Max to bring his work over to the Institute. I pulled it through that antenna directly from the atmosphere. It has all the components of a signal. I've also brought on Thomas, a young documentarist. Why is the Institute using me to make this documentary? What's the point of it? What we're doing is classified and protected under national law. We traffic in state secrets. I know what I'm feeling exactly what my mother felt while she was still alive. She got herself killed. Don't follow in her footsteps. Follow in mine. My name is Thomas Roberts. I was part of the team Kathleen Peterson assembled, hired by the Institute itself to record her work. All of the material from the project comes from my own recordings and research, but the Institute owns it. It's illegal for me to publish or broadcast it. What is Gustav Peterson and the Peterson Institute so afraid of? What are they hiding? I don't want to be filmed. Who killed Ingrid Peterson? What is it they found? What's Kathleen hiding? All the information needed to help uncover the mystery of Cloud Chamber has been uploaded here. It has all the components of a signal. This database has one sole purpose, to make it impossible for governments and corporations to continue hiding the truth from the rest of the world. To make the database accessible for everyone, the information is presented using a landscape metaphor. Remember, the more important the data, the higher the island. Where'd they start, Tom? They already have. Cloud Chamber is a massively multiplayer story game. The gameplay in Cloud Chamber is that you have to discuss your way through a story. The player enters a 3D database. And inside that database, there's a huge number of confidential files. The database is a system. It's called Crowdscape. And what it basically does is it takes all the metadata from each of these found files, and it analyzes them, and it creates three-dimensional landscapes out of the metadata. So your job, along with the other players, is to go in there, look at the files, and discuss them. Your role as a player is to find the truth. It's a game of interpretation and about sharing interpretation. Well, the forums work a lot like Reddit. So you're basically posting uh, your theories, and then others can comment on them, and they can like and dislike them. But the theory can also be uploaded and downloaded, so many users will be able to create discussions in there. Basically, every time you write a post that makes it to the best post position, that, that's the most popular post in a, in a given forum, then you get a badge for that. So the best investigators, the ones who make the best threads and the ones who are liked the most, will actually get on the leaderboards. 